Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is September the 30th. Can't believe another month has gone by. And today's saint is Saint Andros of Canterbury, Canterbury Bishop. Andros was born in Rome. He joined the Benedictines and Pope Gregory the Great sent him to England at the request of St. Augustus. So Andorus could work towards the conversions of the country of England. St. Andorus was named Archbishop of Canterbury in 627. He stayed there for the rest of his life. He was given the right to consecrate bishops. This is a picture to show you what consecrating bishops is. It is not St. Andorus or of the time frame of 620. It's just a picture to show you what consecrating a bishop is. St. Paulinus, pictured here, was appointed bishop of Wot Chester, Wochester under Andorus's orders. When St. Paulinus died in 644, St. Ithmore became his successor. St. Ithmore is known for being the first English born bishop. I could not find a picture of St. Um, Ithmore at all. There is no pictures that I could find of him anywhere in um, the Holy See documents. Honorus died on September 30th, 653. St. Honorus's relics were still being venerated at St. Augustus up until 1120s. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, O oh God, you bless the people of England with the pastoral care of your bishop, St. Andres, St. Andres of Canterbury, was obligated to God's call. When obligation makes its demands upon us, we know that we surely do God's will if what we or asked to do is not against his laws. Through, through his intercession, may we foster the spirit of Christ um, among all those with whom we live and work. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the Refuge page, which also has um, all of the resources that I use for my document, please like and subscribe.